Hello, honorable teacher and viewers, welcome to my today's presentation. The name of my today's presentation is Application of Electromagnetics and I am Obisit Odikari is the narrator of this presentation. First of all, we have to know what is electromagnetism. Electromagnetism is a branch of physics involving the study of the electromagnetic forces, a type of physical interaction that occurs between electrically charged particles. My work of this presentation is Know some electromagnetic appliance and its working procedure, how it works, and what do you know from it. If focus and let's know about it. First, we have to know the history of this electromagnetism. In 1822, Danish scientist Hans Christian Oster discovered that electric currents create magnetic fields. Then, the British scientist William Sorzikon invented the electromagnet in 1824. Its first electromagnet was a horseshoe shaped piece of iron that was worked with about 18 tons of bare copper oil. This stage has been said to go ahead and discuss five most used electromagnetic appliances. So, first, doorbell, second, door locker, third, computer hardware and memory storage devices, electric fan, and the final stage is medical system. First is the doorbell and prepare for this now about it. Doorbell working procedure Electric doorbell works on the electromagnetism receiver. When the doorbell button is put on, the call gets energized and due to the electromagnetic force, the wave sound. The movement of the coil under the electromagnetic force produces sounds which is heard over a minimum distance. Door locker. Is at the modern way of locking the door or a bank safe is to have a magnetic locking device. Other they may be having a number secret port or a magnetic card when it sort opens the door. The number keys are stored in the magnetic tape on the back of the card. Interacts with the magnetic card reader in the door. When the data is stored on the card in the memory matches, the door opens. Computer hardware and memory storage devices. Computer hardware and memory storage device is a working producer are books as heavy as hundreds of kilograms can be stored in few milligrams of memory stick. The data are stored in electromagnetic format in the form of bits and bytes. Even the computer hardware is giving a magnetic tape which works on the electromagnetic principle. Not limiting to this, the olden day VCRs and PPTS are having huge rows of magnetic tapes which have data in it. This is the recorded or read by electromagnetic means only. On also, the computer and televisions use high current electromagnets to produce a beam of electrons from the cathode tube. However, nowadays, the use LEDs and plasma types. Electric fan. Prepare of what is it and how it works. Working procedure. Electric fans, blowers, and other cooling systems use electric motors. These motors work on the principle of electromagnetic induction, which is the branch of electromagnetism. In any electrical principles, electric motor is moved by the magnetic field produced by the electric current according to the Lorentz first principle. These motors are vary in size, rating, and cost based on the application. Medical system. Tell about its principle. Working procedure. Nowadays, electromagnetic fields play a key role in advanced medical equipments such as hypothermia treatments for cancer, implants, and magnetic resonance imaging. 
RF range frequencies are mostly used in medical applications. In MRI scans, works based on the electromagnetism that scan many details of the human body. The electromagnetic therapy is an alternate from medicine which claims to treat disease by applying pulsed electromagnetic fields or electromagnetic radiation to the body. This type of treatment is used for wide range of elements such as nervous disorders, diabetes, spinal cord injuries, asthma, etc. Many of the medical equipment such as scanners, X-ray equipment and other equipment use electromagnetism principle for their function. We can find anomalous practical application of electromagnetism in everyday life from domestic appliances to research applications. In domestic applications, we can observe the phenomena in lighting, heating, and kitchen appliances. In communication systems that exist in all telecommunication equipment and communication networks in industrial systems, this can be applied in motors, generators, sensors, and computer devices. Do you have any question? I am waiting for your opinion. And that is my short presentation. Have a nice time. Thank you for watching.